In this video, we'll talk about how to use swap to variables. Now, there are multiple ways of doing this in different languages. We have different ways, but in Python, we have a very unique way, which is only for Python. Let's see that. In fact, we'll talk about other techniques as well, and then we'll move towards the Python way or Pythonic way. Okay, but, but before we do that, let's take two variables here. We got a equal to five and b equal to six. So we got these two variables, simple variables, no fancy stuff. And now I want to also print this. Let's print this first and then we'll see. So here I'm saying a colon comma a and print b colon and b. Okay, so we got these two variables assigned and also printing it. So let's run this and you can see whatever value you're assigning, you are just printing it. Now what exactly swapping means? Swapping simply means the value of a and the value of b need to be swapped. So a should get 6 and b should get 5. Now why this is useful? Uh, when you build application and when you want to process data, sometimes swapping is important. And also when you want to sort, so there are different sorting algorithms available in which those things works when you swap variables or swap values. So let's see how do we swap. Normally, if you want to think um, as a human, what we do is we say, okay, let A get the value of B and let B get the value of A. And this should solve the problem, right? Uh, but let's see, let's try. So I will just clear this and run. And you can see, okay, something went wrong. Both are six. Why? So if you go step by step, what is happening is in these two lines, we are assigning value. No problem with that. Here, we are saying A is equal to B. That means the value of B, which is six, goes into A. That means the new value for A is 6, okay? And then in the value in, in B, we are assigning the value of A and the new value of A is 6. So both are getting 6. We are losing 5 here. So this is not the ideal way in programming. So that means we have to make sure that we don't lose the value of 5. And the way you can do that is keep the value 5 somewhere. <laughs> that should solve the problem, right? So let's take C and let's keep the value 5 there, which is in A now. So the value 5 goes into C, then the value 6 goes into A, and now I want the value 5 to go to B. In that case, I will not say B equal to A, I will say B equal to C. Okay, now we are able to swap. I will show you the output so that you will trust me. And you can see they have been swapped. Things are working fine. But the problem is we are using extra variable. See, every bit is important. So when you uh, use these two variables, they are taking some space, right? Let's say X amount of space. When you have two variables, you are taking two X of space. And just to swap, we are using the third variable. That means three X of the space. We are wasting that extra space there. How do we solve that? So let's avoid using the third variable. I will cut that and put it somewhere so that we can refer it later if you want. Okay, let's go back here. Now I'll use the second way. Second way is basically to use mathematical formula. So we have A plus B. I will just write it first and then we'll explain what I've done. So this is a mathematical way of solving this problem. Uh, what we are trying to do here is we want to swap, right? So when you say A equal to A plus B, what we are doing is the value of A is 5, the value of B is 6. So the addition is 11, okay? And then the new value of A is 11. Then with the new value of A, which is 11 minus B, which is 6, 11 minus 6 is 5. The value of B becomes 5. Then the value of A, which is 11, the new value of B is 5. 11 minus 5 is 6. The value of A, which you get is 6. So 5 and 6, that's what you got. And that's how basically you swap it. So I will just try to run this. Swapped. Okay, now what's the benefit of this? The benefit is you are not wasting extra memory for the third variable. Okay, you're saving memory. But for saving memory, we are increasing the number of operations which you're doing. Now, this is where you do the trade-off, which is more important or which, which is less you have. So if you have less memory and better CPU power, you will go for this way. If you have more memory and less CPU power, you will go for the third variable. So None of this is a best approach. It's dependent upon your requirement. Okay. So this is another way of mathematical way. But even this has some shortcomings. You know what? The five and six, they're small numbers, right? And this will take less memory. So let's say if this takes X amount of bits. When you add them, it will increase that bit size a bit because five and six, when you add, it will just 11. 
So 11 will take more space than 5 and 6. So we have one more way, which is XOR. It normally works with the bitwise operator and it works in the bit bit way. So you do, you're you not losing any extra bit also. Okay, so every bit is important, as I mentioned before. So this is 6 and 5. So everything is done. Now, whatever we have discussed, this is actually the other language way of doing. In Python, we have a very easy way, okay, which is A comma B is equal to B comma A. As simple as that. And when I learned my first language for the first time, it was C, then C++, then Java. And every time I, I was working with swapping variables, I was like, hey, why can't we just write that in one line? I learned Python a bit late. And when I saw this, I was like, this is what I was waiting for. Okay, and now if you say it is swapped, but the question arises, how it is working? Is it not overwriting the values? Example, uh, in the earlier case, we were overwriting the value, right? And that's why we were losing the value of A, which is which was 5. In this case, when you assign the value of B to A, don't you think we are losing value? So what is happening is behind the scene, there's something called tuple packing and tuple unpacking happening. So here, when you when you write this, it is doing tuple packing. So it, it will fetch the values of B and A, which is 6 and 5. Once you fetch the value, it will pack it as in a tuple. And then that tuple goes on the on this side, it will do the unpacking of the tuple and assign the value, which is 6 and 5. Okay, so it's not overriding it uh, in one go. So it is step-by-step -step process, and that's why this swapping is happening here. So that's how you swap two variables in Python.